Hey and welcome to my video today. Um, today I'm looking at InvisiFrame. i um, got here a tall boy um, from Santa Cruz, thanks to the bike shed hooking me up with this, um, and InvisiFrame. If you've watching my video, you've probably checked out a few other videos as well, but I'm gonna try and keep it simple. One thing that some people don't point out is that, hey look, it comes with instructions, so read them. They're really simple, really good, step by step. If you're worried about the application, I've got pictures of the bikes and the frames and stuff on the back. And the sheet I've got laid out over here on the side, try and keep it as clean as you can. Get the wheels off your bike, um, mix up your solution. That's, you know, a teaspoon of baby shampoo. Um, do use that, I think. No one ever tells you why it's got to be Johnson's baby shampoo, but I think it's maybe because the other fairy liquids and stuff like that have got more salts in, and this might be kinder to things. Um, a lot of people say clean with alcohol. If you haven't got some isopropyl alcohol, I've just cleaned my... This is methylated spirits. All the grease, use clean cloths and stuff like that as you go through. One thing that's worth getting, a squeegee. You can pick these up online, eBay, wherever. Or, you know what, make your own. Grab something from the kitchen, a rubber, to really rub on the frame. Um, and use plenty of water. Um, the kit gives you, so what you should start with, start with small bits to gain your confidence. Um, and basically then just work out your confidence, work it up. Um, and like I say, on the seat tube, it does say on the instructions, do things like fit the back of the seat tube. You find it on here, you see it really clearly on a sheet. Find the back of the top tube with your work, peel it off. On these, they've got alignment marks, tiny little notches. You can't really see them in here that align with the center of the frame. And then get your wetting solution, wet the bike down. Now this is the back of the seat tube. Um, if it's not gonna work that well, make sure you've got your, your mister on and you can mist it out a little bit like this wet down your work yeah wet your hands yeah you don't want greasy fingers i've made sure that i've got mine about as good as i can get them um, before starting if you don't know where up it goes before you hit the frame with it just check it out which way up is this going and squeeze it in here making sure you know which way up exactly that's going to go align with the center of the tube here it's really easy to align with the back of the seat post and um, before just getting that aligned with the back of the pivots and balancing it all up nicely. People talk about making sure that you get you can use lock solution, you don't have to, but to get that lock on, float that on the frame, give it a rub with your squeegee to try and push out some of that water. One of the things you wanna double check is when it is locked on, give that a little tug. If it's not moving, that's locked on the frame. So the next thing you do is just start to squeegee out the water. Start from the middle and work around your work. That's the first piece done, take your time. If you're worried about it and you look quite perfect, don't rush these things, take it super slow. Um, you can come back to it. I've taken a bit of tissue and I've dried out the edges to try and get them to stick really nicely. And if you want to, like I say, come back to it afterwards, give it a little rub up, squeeze that water out the edges to make sure your edges stick. Obviously over time, it's the edges that are gonna peel up first and you wanna make sure that they're well down. That's where the lock solution can come in well. If you wanna get yourself some lock solution mixed up, um, which you can buy by mixing up isopropyl alcohol um, and water. Um, actually, if you're looking at my video, you know, the people from InvisiFrame do a great video, way better than this. The guy's really confident. Um, and then it's on to your next bit. Okay, the part everybody's gonna see, top tube. Make sure you don't rush this. Take your time, mix up your float solution, really wet that bike down because um, this is where it's going to go. Wet the sides, wet all around the bike, and again, wet the sticky side, you know, wet your hands, because you're going to float this on nicely, you know, you want it to go on well, so check it out. When you've done that, what you're looking at is again, use your alignment marks here, point on one end, curve on the other. In the middle of the curve, you have got a little notch in this, um, so you can check this out. Obviously, it floats on nicely, you wanna take your time, check out the spacing and try and get those curves even around your tubes. Check it as it points towards the middle of your work. These guys at InvisiFrame do set the standards on frame protection. There are other people like um, Shack Wrap um, who does different kits depending on how much money you wanna spend. I'd you know, big him up, I met that guy once. Um, he was a nice guy. Um, don't mind spending money with people you like. Um, big up shout to other dealers of Santa Cruz as well, like the guys from Rolling H Cycles. Um, they're fabulous. You want to buy a bike and you're US based, go to them. 
they're up in Idaho. Um, like I said, these guys <coughs> came from Exeter, um, from the bike shed. Um, so check them out as well if you're looking for a great dealer. Um, she really worked float nicely. Get it on, make sure it's locked on, that center line. When you're happy with that, give it a tug. And again, work outwards from the middle, working those. This squeegee that I've got, it's got a soft felt bit on one side, so you can slide a little bit more. One side, it's got a hard rubber, so you can just get lots of pressure down on that in a little while. The bits that where the frame's curving in a couple of directions, make sure it's locked down tightly, and just take your time working those bits out. Here, I'm in a workshop today. Um, it's the middle of winter, it's pretty cold, so I've got the fire going. Um, get the temperature in your room up. You really want it up around the 20 degree mark. Um, and hopefully that will get done. I'm going to go fit in the rest of this kit. Thanks for watching if you have. I um, hope you enjoy it. Um, and good luck fitting your Invisiframe. Okay, so thanks for watching the video. Um, this has just taken me about three hours to do. Just because we're trying to be really careful the whole thing. A couple of things I've learned on the way. Not the changes obviously happen to manufacturers' bikes, which means the kit. I had to make a couple of cuts, um, especially down the bottom where they fit new chain stay protectors. A um, couple of issues, um, when you're going through the sheet, maybe tick it off as you go so you know what's going, little pointers there. Um, one of the issues as well here, you've got a diagram of the bike. Um, I think it's quite funny because somebody's just taken this picture, copied it and stretched it across so that actually when you look really carefully, um, the drive train's on the wrong side for bicycles. Um, one little thing, perhaps Invisiframe want to look at, um, doesn't make it clear for everybody. But you know what, being probably impressed with the product, entirely impressed. Um, the one thing I would say is if you... You know, you're, you're doing this for the first time, like I was today um, with the Invisiframe kit. I've done it with other things, just like using heli tape. Um, just go slow and take your time and good luck. Thanks for watching my video. Um, hope you uh, enjoy miles and miles of riding.